Spider-Man doesn't rely solely on his enhanced agility to get him out of trouble. He also has his spider sense, an early warning detection system that alerts him to danger. But humans can only sense danger that they see or hear. Being able to identify and respond to a silent threat that comes at us from outside our field of vision is just something in comic books and movies. Or is it? Peter Parker's spider sense has been described as a ringing, buzzing, or tingling at the base of the skull. Say, for instance, Dr. Doom came up behind him. Even though he can't see Doom, his spider sense would still warn him that danger is near. Now sure, I was able to create a rudimentary form of spider sense for an action figure using Little Bits hardware. But could we enable or equip a human being with a fully functional form of spider sense? Let's find out. The way I've looked at Spider-Man's powers in the past is to look at how an actual spider does things, like web spinning or wall crawling. But in this case, we can't do that because spiders don't have spider sense, as far as we know. Stan Lee just made it up. But that doesn't mean there isn't something comparable to be found in other organisms. Bats use echolocation to navigate and hunt prey. They emit ultrasonic calls which bounce off their surroundings and return back to them. Their ears and specialized sections of their brain are able to interpret these returning signals as different aspects of their environment. It's very similar to how Daredevil's radar sense is described. Some people mistakenly believe that bats use their echolocation instead of vision, hence the expression blind as a bat. But bats actually have pretty good eyesight. They use their echolocation in addition to vision. Victor Mativitisi of the Electronic Visualization Laboratory at the University of Illinois uses this same concept for his spider sense suit. Victor's suit is equipped with sensor modules. These sensor modules use microphones to send and receive ultrasonic signals that define the environment around the person. The difference between this suit and other wearable environmental detection devices is that this uniform not only tells you the direction an object is in, but also how close it is. The closer an object gets, the more pressure is applied to the wearer's skin by tiny robotic arms that are built into the suit. So if your spider sense wants to let you know that Mysterio is nearby, it can give you a light tap. But if the vulture is about to dive bomb you from behind, it can dig hard into your skin. In test runs, a blindfolded individual was able to detect mock attackers with 95% accuracy. And it's being looked at as a device that could compensate for a blind person's lack of vision. The prototype only cost $500, and Mativa TC has expressed interest in making the suit available to the public. So you may see an affordable Spider Sense suit in a store near you relatively soon. Until then, I'll continue to perfect my toy Spider Sense. I want to thank Little Bits for providing me with the hardware I needed to make this, and for sponsoring this episode. It's support from sponsors like this that enable me to continue this series. Little Bits is great for first time makers and seasoned engineers alike. They have over 60 modules and it's really amazing what you can build with them and how easy it is to do it. Little Bits is offering $20 off a purchase of $80 or more if you go to littlebits.com and enter the code RUSTY. So if you're looking for an awesome holiday gift, check out littlebits.com and type in RUSTY. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more episodes and check out my Spider-Man playlist to see how I've broken down the real science behind Spider-Man's other powers. And be sure to let me know what superpower you want. That's just something in comic books and movies. Comic books and movies. Or is it? Oh! Try with my thighs.
Instead of getting better, we're getting worse. Comic books and movies. 